find the length of the vertical chord of the following ellipse which passes through the right hand focus as shown. Now this is an ellipse which is centered at 0, 0. This is the center which is the origin and you have got the major axis of uh, 10 and the minor radius or minus axis of 8. Okay, so hopefully you know the equation of an ellipse or standard ellipse is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. Okay, so where your a and uh, Okay, so comparing this with this equation, you can see this implies your a is, or a squared is equal to 4 here. Yeah. a squared is equal to 25, sorry. And b squared is equal to 16. Because your a is plus or minus 5, I call this the major radius. Okay, I call this the major radius, and this is the minor radius. So a squared is 25, and b squared is... 16. Okay, or oh, this is, you can also write this as phi squared, a squared is phi squared, and b squared is 4 squared. Okay, so the equation of this ellipse, by just looking at this uh, center and the major and the minor axis, we can say it should be x squared over 25 plus y squared over 16 is equal to 1. Now the focus, uh, or the foci, the foci, the formula of foci is, for this uh, ellipse centered at 0, 0, is plus or minus c comma 0. So this is c comma 0. And so for this, you can say this is c. The value of c is what we want to find. And you should also know this relationship, which is c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. Or the focal length squared is equal to the major radius squared. This is the major radius. So this is your a, which is a squared, which is 25 minus b squared, which is 16. So c squared is 25 minus 16 which is 9. So C is a neat number, so C is plus or minus 3. Plus or minus 3. So this means your focal length, this is 3 on the x-axis. Okay, so now we just need to find out this y, this y and this y by putting uh, the value of x is equal to 3. Okay, so your focus is plus or minus 3, in, and in this case, this is 3. So we need to find out, so if you know this height, this height, and this height is would be equal to this height. Okay, so for this height, we need to plug in 3 in this equation. Okay, so, so you can say putting x is equal to 3 in the equation, putting x is equal to 3, in the equation in x squared over 25 plus y squared over 16 is equal to 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put 3 there, so that is 9 over 25 plus y squared over 16 and 1 I'm going to write as 25 out of 25. So I'm going to take away 9 over 25 on both sides. So this implies y squared over 16 is equal to 25 over 25 minus 9 over 25, which is 16 over 25. So now multiplying 16 to both sides, you can say y squared is equal to 16 squared over 25 which is 16 squared over 5 squared. So you can say this implies your y is plus or minus uh, 16 over 5. Your y is plus or minus 16 over 5. So 16 over 5 is how much? It's same as 
is equal to plus or minus 32 over 10, which implies y is equal to plus or minus 3.2. So what does that mean? Graphically, when x is 3, your y is, so you can say this point is 3 comma 3.2. This is 3 comma 3.2 and this point is 3 comma negative 3.2. So we can say this distance or this height is 3.2 and this height is also 3.2. Okay, so your answer is the height of this would be, so we can say height of the chord, I'll write the answer here, so height of chord passing through the focus would be 3.2 plus 3.2 which is 6.4 just like that this is your answer